The wave of dollar buying has faded in the aftermath of a Fed minutes that wasn't as dovish as the six rate cuts the market is pricing for this year. At the same time, the minutes weren't exactly hawkish either after acknowledging the Fed had probably reached the peak rate and would begin cutting rates in 2024. The yen is the hardest hit currency on the day, still suffering from post-earthquake blues and speculation this event will delay any possibility for a BOJ policy shift. On the data front, German, Eurozone, and UK PMI reads were all revised higher, while German inflation data rose across the board. This gave both the euro and pound an excuse to recover. Risk sentiment is still a little shaky this week, as evidenced by declining U.S. equities. U.S. equity futures are once again leaning towards a lower open. Looking ahead, we get U.S. ADP employment, U.S. initial jobless claims, and Canada and U.S. PMI reads. That's all for now.